sometimes we have so many requests for a certain project that I will stop what I'm working on to give it a try. So I am going to make a made-to-move bell. But which one? There is the Disney Store Classic Bell, and I've had this doll for a while. I paid like $8, and I just love the classic. These are the Hasbro Beauty and the Beast dolls, and I have two. So if I make a mistake, at least I have one left. I also have two Disney Store Bells from the film collection. However, these cost a little bit more than the others, so I'm a little nervous about altering these two in any way, because if I mess up, that would be a very costly mistake. It also depends on which doll is the best match for the made-to-move body. The pink top made-to-move Barbie is actually pretty tan. The light blue top is a little off, too. Ah! I need the purple made-to-move Barbie. Unfortunately, I am fresh out of bodies. Yeah, cause that's not an odd thing to say. Oh, come on, you know what I mean. We do head transplants here all the time. I'm practically a doctor for dolls. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to have to recycle an older body. Yeah, their arms look like the exact same color. However, when I place the made-to-move hand on Belle's face, it looks a little too light. Let's see how it looks on the Hasbro doll. Let's try the other Disney Store Belle. And that looks like the best match so far. So our After Ever After High, Michelle is going to give her purple made-to-move Barbie body to the Disney Store Film Collection Belle. But I really want my classic Belle to have a made-to-move body. Let's try the pink top one more time. Maybe it will look different out of the box. Time for the face test! And look! It actually looks pretty close. So we are going to do two transplants. Off with their heads! When you're down and you stare out your window We have a case of bobblehead syndrome here. So I am going to try something new and fill her head with rubber bands. I'm hoping that this will reduce the bobbling without limiting her movability. Let's see if it worked. There's no bobbling. And we can still move the head. <laughs> Yay! We placed Michelle back on her original body and gave the Disney body a made-to-move head. Classic Belle and Pink Barbie is next. Her head is a little loose. I think she could use a few rubber bands too. I ended up putting one rubber band around the neck peg and it seems to be better. It's time for a little hair, makeup, and wardrobe. So we need yellow and blue stuff. Cute. Very nice. That's different. It's by Stardoll and it is yellow. For our other bell, I want to make a few small changes. I am using acetone nail polish remover to remove some of the freckles and the shine from her face. I took her hair down, added some water to comb out the curls, then I just lightly twisted it until it dried. I used chalk pastels for a little blush, combine acrylic paint with a glaze medium for a little eyeliner, and just a few freckles. I added a little glaze to the lips to soften her look. And I think she might dress a little more casual. Here she is in a blue daisy jumper, a denim dress, or the yellow top and shorts from our doll smoothie shop. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they both turned out. One looks like a librarian, and the other looks like she's going on a walk around town. I like how we gave them two very different looks while trying to find outfits that are centered around her signature colors. 
the yellow ball gown, and the blue village dress. And I was surprised that Barbie had so much blue and yellow in her closet. Now we just have to give her a pair of boots. And you're done. Happy crafting! Want to give a shout out to M's and Mommy's Dolls. What's up? Hmm. I like this, but it's the wrong color. Hi, I'm Belle. How can I help you? Do you have this in green by any chance? Green? But yellow is such a beautiful color. Don't you think, Belle? Oh, absolutely! Wait, both of you are named Belle? Yes! Isn't, Isn't it a beautiful, beautiful name? name? Hey, Belle! Hey, Belle! Hey, Belle! Hey, Belle! Oh, no. They're multiplying! Uh -huh.